What's up, Pokemon Spirit? It's Link's973. Got a battle here with Dark Blastoise. And uh, this one is freaking awesome. It happened quite a couple, like a month or two ago, maybe. I just completely forgot who it was until I started searching some people's YouTubes and I found out it was indeed Dark Blastoise. So he starts off with his Obama Snowman. I go in with my Infernape. I decided not to overprotect and just go straight for the for the fire move. Of course, uh, like now we're predicting, I decided to go for it again. and he has a heat ramp like everybody else in the world. So his heat ramp gets that fire boost. And right now his heat ramp is in a pretty good position because I am scarfed and I have to switch immediately. Because <laughs> I do not want him to get more boost, which be dumb. And he knows that, of course. So as I switch into my Swampert, he makes this the, the calm, the, you know, I guess common sense play and subs up because he is a sub -trend. And I don't like subterrans because they sub and they could do a lot of damage because they are heat rants. Yeah, fucking subs. I mean, look at it. It's like a freaking. It doesn't even really resemble heat rant. It's like a little doll. Whatever. He goes for Earth Power, but my Swampert is a special beast. He hits. He takes a hit like nothing. Oh, actually, it did kind of hurt him a little, but what? Not even a quarter. The Swampert goes in for Earthquake and breaks that submarine down and freaking tears it to pieces and everything. And you see Heat Rant's ugly ass face. And, uh, yep. I'm not, I wasn't really predicting too much. I kind of figured he's going to switch because we could just sub and hit all day. He's going to lose health. Well, I figured, let me not go into, let me not do an Earthquake because if not, yeah, screw it. So I make every prediction. I go for my waterfall, and I get his uh, Flygon. And he was definitely not expecting that. He probably thought I was a little noob, and I was just going to Earthquake again. But no, F that. Waterfall in your face. And that Flygon. Yeah, I got a critical hit. I don't know if that really mattered too much, because I think it still would have been a two-hit KO no matter what. But um, that Flygon lives <laughs> so, for a long time, so I don't know if it mattered too much. I switched because I did not want to take... Uh, a U-turn, oh, actually I just wanted to get a free switching, but yeah, um, the U-turn does nothing to my overkiller because he's beastly, and I kind of figured he's going to switch, but I wasn't too sure how I wanted to predict this, so I go in for the, uh, man, what the hell did I, oh no, that's right, we both double switched, I'm sorry, this battle was so damn long ago, I don't remember what the hell happens. So we both double switch. I'm in my overkiller. He has his thing. He goes for Earth Power. I like a new thought. I could live it because this is a very bulky um, scissor, and I do live it, which is pretty awesome. And I do get the U-turn, so I can actually switch into something after I get hit, which is the original purpose of this uh, scissor. I take a hit and then U-turn out of it. So if you served your purpose. You're awesome. So I go for my uh, scarf ape, and I decided, you know, I don't. Know, Payback, he ran, and I'm just gonna close combat. Exactly. He maybe he thought I would over predict or something, I don't know. But my close combat pretty much rapes his heat ran, and I hate heat ran, so die, you piece of metal shit. I don't know what the hell you wanna call that, but it looks like a piece of crap of metal. Anyway, so his heat ran dies, and I'm happy about that. Like, yes, die, you bastard, die. And uh, his murder face comes out. Oh man, fucking Walrin. I don't. And this is like my first time facing the Walrus, I didn't know what the hell to expect from him. So I just go into my Overkiller because I know he's Steel and um, Steel is good against Ice. But then again, he's also far water, so it's probably going to do neutral damage. I didn't remember at the time. I don't do damage calcs, nothing like that. So I just play off my mind, whatever whatever I remember. And uh, he goes for Protect. I kind of figured he might Protect, maybe just for damage. So I Roosted, so my prediction came out pretty damn good. And... Uh, I pretty much get to a pretty good health right now. Almost almost max HP, which is very awesome. His hail does hit me down, but I got the lefties, and lefties is awesome. So, yeah. Of course, he's faster because, like I said, my guy is uh, mostly bulky and strong. He's basically a tank. And uh, I just had to go roost again because I just wanted to see how much damage anything he does will do to me. And, uh,. I guess he kind of figured something like I would do something like that because he goes straight into his uh, mana swine, aka Big Bubba. And that's a funny ass shape. <laughs> oh, by the way, I decided to call him Uber Killer because I was making the set that's supposed to pwn Ubers and I just never, I was too damn lazy to switch it. So, yeah. Although I did a few variations from it, but I was just too damn lazy to switch it. So, um, I bullet punch, get him down to pretty good health. 
he decides to uh, earthquake my ass and my ass is done. Now here's the thing, I did not even think about the fact that he is faster than me. So if he uses a priority move too, Ice Shard, I did not know he carried Ice Shard. I never really faced him in the I was fine for like one or twice, one or two. So yeah, he, he raised my Uber Killer and I'm over here thinking, fuck, I could have lived. I didn't live. That fucking sucks. So I go for my Inferno because I'm Scarf. So, and if he wants to do Ice Shard, I'm okay with that because Ice Shard is ice and, you know, ice doesn't do too much. Uh, or they, it didn't leave me that comfortable. I thought I was going to still be green at that point, but. Whatever my earthquake, uh, if lives, I did close combat. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so yeah, no target. Okay, no. <coughs> so he goes back into his uh, wall right I decided, you know what? In case he does decide to switch, I'm a close combat. And guess what? That close combat did. That close combat raped his wall Well, not fully, but you know, it wasn't a wide hit KO, but it was good. You know, it was some pretty damn good damage. And he went first so so that was an excellent play by my part. He was probably left with one or two HP. That was uh, that was whack. <laughs> I did not expect that to happen. I kind of figured he would be low enough not to make a sub. So the only thing I can do, because I'm fearing a water move, <coughs> would be to uh, switch out to my swamp right now. This is what's messed up right here. Okay, I'm thinking. All right, he 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 had called um. He probably isn't too bulky. He should be able to kick his ass. My guy's a special tank, pretty much. Um, but look how much Blizzard does. It does a, it's gonna be a two hit KO at this point. I decided to go for Earthquake, and I got screwed a hundred percent with that min max damage because that sub is still alive. That little fake ass Pokey doll is there, and it's just like laughing at me because. It laughs at how pathetic that fucking earthquake was. Swamper, what the fuck, man? Alright, doesn't matter. He decides to protect. I kind of figured he would protect, but there's not really much I can do. I decided to uh, stuff rock late game because I just never did the whole match. And uh, don't mind me, I'm eating my chicken noodle soup right now, even though it's like 12 in the, middle, in the morning. And I gotta get up for work in 5 hours. It works out for me. So, uh, stuff rocks is set up. I know I'm gonna die. There's no use in me doing anything. Uh, that bliss is gonna take me out. And hell yeah, a couple of noodles is the beast. All right. So because of all this protecting and stalling, his freaking wall ring gets like massive amounts of help. So I go into not my gummy bear because Gengar looks like a gummy bear. Only he's not a gummy bear, so fuck yeah. All right. So he decides to do blizzard. And here's what confuses the hell out of me. It does a pretty good damage to my special wall. But it doesn't kill my Gengar. What the fuck? Did he? I don't know if he got screwed by the next damage or... My Swamper was just uh, having a bad day. I don't know. But, um... My Gummy Bear lived. And he's going to proceed to, uh... Rape this, uh... Murder face... Thing... Whatever the fuck one of them. <coughs> so... Um... Yeah, hell hits me, and uh, I was like, you know what, I was trying to decide, should I use Thunder or Shadow? Hmm, because so I got T-Bolt, and I got Shadow Ball. I was thinking, 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 and I was like, he's probably going to predict that. But, me decided to just say, fuck it, you go for it. And uh, at this point, I was thinking, Hell has to kill him. If Hell did not kill him, I am screwed, because he's going to get off the outrage, and at least kill my guy. No, he was for a fire punch. And I died, of course, because why why would it why would I live? I mean seriously, well, it's a fire punch. Physical attack, yeah. I don't even know why how we oh, I guess he wanted to live for maybe I like, wanted to switch scissors, fire punch prediction. I guess that would have been not so bad. But then I see this fucker, I hate fortresses. There's a fucking testicle. The testicle with eyes. Why does it why? I hate fortresses so bad. But I decided to just go in my Infernape and rape him with a Fire Blitz. And luckily, this is the reason why I chose Infernape. Because he is a good counter to Fortress. Even though not many people think so. But I think it always works out for me. Of course, he decided he that fucker still takes me out as a recoil. But whatever. His Fortress is down. My Infernape is down. So we go for a double switch. Of course, he goes into his Murder Face. His freaking Walrin. That Walrin does not want to die at all. 
And I go into my pull my spoon because you know what? My Atticus and pones with spoons. Look at the spoons, man. You should be afraid of them. All right, those spoons are scary. If you look at the spoons, you might die. Okay. But anyways, um, so yeah. Hail, haha, yes, he gets HP, I get her. I go for focus blast because I'm pretty much tired of this fucking Wolverine. I want him to die now. And if he doesn't die, I'm going to get pissed. But um, luckily, focus blast did not miss. I got the focus blast. That motherfucker is down. And that's it, Wolverine. Die. Because you freaking are annoying. So his Wolverine dies. I'm happy. Cool. And um, yeah, now he goes for his Obama soul because it's the only thing he has left. Um, I forgot to mention, my guy is, uh, Choice Specs, so, <laughs> if I fuck up with, uh, Focus Blast, <coughs> if I miss, it's a wrap for me. But, um, yep, he protects, I guess just a stall for, <coughs> uh, Focus Blast PBs. <coughs> I don't miss, sorry about the cough. I don't miss, so my Focus Blast hits, and I don't remember if it kills or not. Does it kill, does it kill, does it kill, oh my god, the suspense, it kills! Freaking Obama still, man. <laughs> but yeah, um, it was a great battle. Uh, to everybody watching, rate, comment, subscribe. Be sure to check out his link in the video. And rate, of course, I'll comment and subscribe to a uh, Pokemon Spirit, my channel, Dark Blast Toys, because it's beastly. And I uh, hope you all enjoyed it. And if you want to see more, check out my channel. Peace, people.